Hey everyone, it's Brooke. I wanted to show you a new um, favorite tool that I've been using for my posts and my graphics. And um, I really like it because it's totally different than what is available in um, other on other websites or on apps on my phone. And the reason I really like it is because I am a graphics person and I love creating things in Photoshop. However, because not everybody has Photoshop, it's a little bit harder to learn and you can't get as good of graphics that way. Like this, for example, would take me quite a bit of time to do and create in Photoshop. It's possible, um, but it would take me a while. So something like, you know, um, a portrait like this where I want, um, I want the actual picture to be in here like this, that would take me quite a while to do that on, um, on my Photoshop. Same thing with something like this. Like super cool. Um, I'd love to use that. Maybe even somebody would want to use this for like a cover photo for an ebook or something like that. Um, I really like it. So I'm just going to show you some of the things that I like about it the most. So um, for me, I on this, I like to create either a Facebook cover photo. Um, I like to create a YouTube YouTube banner is great too. Uh, but I really like, let me move down here. I like that you can do the photo cards too. This is super cool. Like I love this because I send a lot of things out to my clients. This is like a perfect little graphic for me just because it's kind of my brand anyway. Um, but you can change all of this. You can change the fonts. Um, you can actually, when you add pictures in here, so say it's a picture of me saying thank you, um, you can actually edit these too. So you can make it black and white. You can change the backgrounds. So maybe I just don't like that background. Maybe I just want it to be white. So I can change that. Uh, and you also see the graphics behind there. So you can um, delete the graphics here. Let me delete this. And maybe I just want um, the flowers. So you can change a lot of things. So let me go back to my creative here. So your options whenever you go into PhotoJet, you've got creative and you've got classic. For the classic, this is just like basically your classic photo collage. But what's really cool is you can actually select what size you want. So let's say that I'm creating a Facebook cover photo. You're going to click 16 by 9. And this is going to be a good um, uh, cover photo. So let's say, and I'm just going to use their pictures. You add your photos this way. Um, you can also go to your Facebook, which is super awesome. Um, so maybe I'll, let's see how Facebook works. Let's just review this and see how good it works. So I connected to my Facebook. Let's go to my mobile uploads. And let's say I want this picture. So I select it. I'm going to go ahead and add it. And whenever you double click here, you can just move this down. So I've got a picture of Jason and I. Um, oops, I'm gonna go back to Facebook. I'm gonna go to profile pictures. I wanna add this one. And then maybe I wanna add this one. Kind of random pictures here, but you get the idea. And so I can move that down and put this one over here. Probably wouldn't keep that, that those pictures like this, but let's say I want to change these all to black and white, so I can do that. You can also change the effects. Um, if you click Advanced Options, let's say that I want this to be a little bit more contrast. I can do that if I want. It looks a little bit more professional, I guess. Um, let's say I can contrast here a little bit more. And then same thing on this one. Oops black and white, Oop, a little too much contrast. There we go. So there I've got that layout. Now, if I decide to change the amount of pictures that I want, so let's say now I decide I want five pictures and I'm going to go to um, this one. It's going to keep those images, but if you want to swap them, it's super easy to do. So let's say I want to swap these two. You just have to move them around a little bit. You do have to go back through and put your your um, your filter on it if you want to change your filter. 
You can also flip flop them if you want to rotate them at all. Um, so it makes it a lot easier. Let me do this. So let's say um, I'm going to add some more photos here. Let's add this picture and this picture. So now I've got these down here. Now it won't save your photos. So like once you exit out of here, you, you don't have one thing that I would recommend to the company that created this awesome website is that there's an option for you to create a login and a username so that they can save all of your pictures, maybe into photo albums. Um, Canva.com does that, um, makes it a little bit easier for me as my business is changing a lot of graphics a lot of the time. It makes it a lot easier for me to be able to just jump in here and the pictures, my logos are already in here. Of course, it doesn't take that much time for me to go through here, but as an entrepreneur, I'm trying to save time um, as best I can. And so if those were already preloaded in here and me not having to add them each time I log back in, that would be perfect. So let's say this is my cover photo that I like. You can actually change the rounding of the pictures if you want them to be more circular. So let's say I like this. Um, then I can add um, a background. So if I want a certain background, I can even add my own background. If I want to add that, you can add just a color. I like white, I'm weird, I'm very plain and simple. When you're creating Facebook cover photos, especially if it's for a business, don't try to make it too busy. Um, I see a lot of people do that and it gets a little, little too busy. Now, you can add these types of um, sample text. So you can see how this is kind of like a um, 3D almost. So something that you would have in like clip art, um, I guess, or um, if you're creating it in another platform like Photoshop or something. And so maybe I could just say welcome here. Now in this, whenever you click on the little letter here, you can change all these. So it can change um, the font. Now what's really cool is you can upload your own font in, into here. So if I wanted to upload my own font, I can. I love one of my fonts that's in here. I love Blackjack, but this is my favorite. So this is like what I use for my brand. So being able to upload that without having to pay for anything, that's pretty awesome. Um, so I can actually upload my own fonts into here and you can change anything. You can make it smaller. You can make it bigger over here. And I can also go in here and change the color. Maybe I want it to be a little bit lighter. Um, I want to change it to maybe this color. Oh, I did the outline color. So the outline color is now blue too, but that's okay. Um, and we'll make this blue. And then the actual color, we'll make, I'll make it like a darker blue. So super awesome to be able to add that on there. Um, something else that you can do too, if you just want it to be simple, you can just do that. Um, and I can go to my font. So look how awesome this looks. Um, this isn't perfect. I didn't spend a whole time, a whole lot of time here. Um, but I really like how easy it is to, to make these. Now you can go into clip art too. And let's say I want to add some sort of embellishment like a banner. So I can actually go in here and add a banner if I want to. And then you can move it backwards. And then here you can see where my lettering, just move it a little bit. And let me go into, I'm actually gonna double click this. Go in here, and you can, I believe you can add um, effects to it, because I did it earlier, um, but you can go in here and be able to do that. Let me think how I did it. I thought I was able to. But anyway, um, looks pretty awesome to be able to add the um, graphics like that. And then, <clears throat> let's say um, I just want to add something like maybe we're celebrating something. Maybe this is an e-card or I'm making cards for something. You can do that. Lifestyle. 
There's just all kinds of different things that you can do. Um, so let me go back to creative. The other thing that I really like is the 3D because I'm, I'm a graphics person. I just love um, being able to see different kinds of graphics like this because you cannot do this without either hiring someone, um, but these type of templates are usually pretty expensive for you to get and load into Photoshop and create. I know that because I've done it. Um, so to be able to have access to this is awesome. So let's say that I'm creating a post um, inviting people to, maybe it's just like a blog post or maybe even it's, it's even an ad. So you double click, I'm gonna draw this, or move it down, done. There we go. And you can always delete this, they don't make you have that on everything. And then maybe I just want the background to be plain white, because again, I'm boring. Um, but I can move all of this around, I can change the size of it. I mean, that's really awesome to be able to do this on something that's available to you for free. That's pretty incredible to me uh, because I actually was doing all of this in my uh, Photoshop because I loved creating this type of thing for my team. So like for my team, I would highlight coaches um, who were doing really well. Um, so something like this, I could have all of my coaches in here or something like this. I could put the coaches and their names underneath it. This is super cool. Nice little graphic to have. Um, if I wanted to create something for my website, lots of awesome, awesome little things here that you can do. And there's all of these different um, little ones that you can click on, and it shows you how many pictures you can add, which makes it really easy for you to do. So let's say I wanted seven plus pictures, those are my options. Now we'll go back to creative, and there's one like this that I was on before. I really like this one. Um, I used, let's see which one did I like to use. When I was highlighting my coaches, I really like to use these. Um, but like something like this is perfect for a, a, like a flyer, or handout, or blog post. Same thing with this. And again, guys, you can change this. Like I say, I don't want that there. I can delete it. If I don't want that there. I can delete it. You can't change this unless you choose um, a different background. But let me go back over here. So say I don't want that but I, maybe I want something, um, let's say, like some hearts, oops, leave that there. Let's say I want some hearts over here. Can change that, let me delete. I want a colorful one. That is one thing that I noticed, you can't change the color of these. So when you go in here and I click on it, um, I can't change the color, you can change the hue and everything, but a little bit more difficult. Um, so if you're looking for a specific color, you may not be able to. Um, but same thing, I can put all of this in here. Maybe I'm trying to explain something on my website or it's a Pinterest graphic um, for something. I can actually, you know, put some stuff in there. So we go back here and just explore some more. For a Facebook post, you can make these look super professional. Um, let's say I want to do something with this. I'll make this a little bit less visible here. So it's, there we go. And I could move all this around if I wanted to as well. So you can always move that stuff around too. Um, but there's some really good options on here. So go on there, check it out. Um, I really, really like it. I've used it for a lot of my stuff for my blog, for my website, for social media. Um, and I think it's a really great tool considering it's free. So, uh, and when you're ready to save, you just click save and there you go. So I hope this is something that you guys um, look at using. I really, really like it. Um, and on the front page here, you'll see all the different kinds of things that you can use it for. Now, just because it has like photo card here or something like that, you can, it's all versatile. You can use it for anything that you want. I really, really like this. So anyway, guys, I hope you check this out and um, leave a comment below if you like it. Bye guys.